everyone and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video october has come and october has left us and these are the five movies that i watched this month and i literally just thought about it that I probably should have kept my Halloween background until finishing this video but I forgot because picking up my stuff and you know putting up my like fall Thanksgiving decor and I went ahead and like change this oh well there's always next year right of course um anything that I did review will be down in the description box and I think I may have two yeah I think two three three because they were part of my 13 nights of fright which is also why I only saw five movies because I did have a my Halloween special my third annual Halloween special and then I was on vacation but enough jibba jabba let's go ahead and go on with Marvel's like special like a Halloween special called uh Werewolf by Night it does star uh Gael Garcia Bernal and I just absolutely love that we're getting more representation within you know the superhero community i mean we do have like Lois Haldana, you know she's also part of marvel and uh so it's great i love i love me some guys so good uh so yes this is a little nice little halloween special i knew absolutely nothing about this movie going in for starters i love the way that this movie looks it's in black and white so you have that whole noir thing so we are within this one night with a bunch of hunters after the fall of one of like the main hunters so this is like a competition to be able to be the main hunter so you know they're they're put into this location that they have to hunt down this creature and there's a lot that kind of goes on within it but it's not like too too much it gives you that really good like og like universal monsters kind of vibe to it this is really awesome not just awesome you guys this is like a favorite of the year but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the school for good and evil this is a, a movie that technically i guess is not really considered a horror movie it's more like a fantasy but it was it came out during halloween and you know i was i was being lazy i didn't want to just review it on its own i was like you know what we're gonna incorporate it kind of giving me like spooky vibes in a way came out in october my special so i will incorporate what i want to incorporate we have these two girls one of them of course is all like i'm gonna be a princess like look at my blonde hair i am gorgeous and the other one is just like i don't really care like how i look situations happen and agatha ends up kind of like attaching herself to Sophia she's kind of being taken off into the school because she's trying to save her life and they get picked up by this big I don't even know like mythical creature deal and they get dropped into different schools now looking at them you would obviously feel like Sophie should be in the school of good and Agatha should be in the school for bad but unfortunately they get dropped in the wrong school it's a really cute little fantasy movie you guys uh we also have uh charlie throne we have kerry washington we have uh lawrence fishburne and we have michelle yoon in here and they're i feel like the trailer kind of focused a lot on them to make it seem like they're the main characters but no this is about the girls it wasn't great but uh, I do see myself rewatching it and I really had a good time with it. So um, it was enjoyable. I thought it was just a really enjoyable movie. But let's go ahead and move on. We're still with Netflix. This is The Curse of Bridge Hollow. This stars Marlon Wayans. We have Priya Ferguson. We have Kelly Rowland. And it's about this family uh, that moved from a big town into this small town of Bridge Hollow. Uh, little did Marlon know that they are big on Halloween. I mean, I would absolutely love in a sense to be part of that town because you know small towns are just all nosing up in your business but then they do stuff like this and i'm like oh that's so cool like i want that in my life but marlon is somebody who doesn't uh, really like halloween he gets scared he had like a whole thing that happened to him when he was younger uh we have a, a cursed pumpkin a, a stingy jack and he's having like all the halloween decorations come to life um uh, almost kind of gives you like goosebumps vibes it's another movie that's really cute and technically it's not really considered a horror movie either it kind of falls within like the fantasy comedy aspect but halloween stuff is happening within the movie and again it was my series that's going on but just to say that the three times that i watched it i really enjoyed it this is a movie that i would um re-watch you know like next year it's kind of falls within like that hubie halloween that one of those movie that you just kind of want to watch and kind of just turn your brain off but you're still enjoying what's going on it's just like really good silly fun that's still good for the family we're going on to halloween ends this is the end of this particular trilogy and i know a lot of people just absolutely 
love the movie absolutely hate the movie there's people that need it just kind of falls within in the middle because you know i'm not like a huge halloween fan just generally uh you already know i'm i'm not a horror person um i do love halloween generally but i just don't like the scary movies and that's why whenever i do my halloween special i kind of gravitate more toward things like the school for good and evil the curse of bridge hollow you know not necessarily like horror horror stuff because you already know i don't do like demonic things or pop-up scares little kids you know it's it's like low grade horror things like that's what my series is about uh, just in case there's other people like me that want to kind of be brave just a little bit and be like all right i'll watch that movie i still don't know i'm if i've seen halloween 2018 version i don't know like i say i have i say i haven't i really don't know like i feel like i have the people that are making these movies from iconic characters they just make them into a joke and it's just so it's such a bummer for the hardcore fans of like in this case michael or in like freddy krueger's version or in chucky it's like this very iconic character that were very menacing they were very like ah and then it's just like a downfall because you want to keep this franchise going you want to keep profiting making money and like you're not giving the fans a good movie but i will say that i did enjoy this movie way more from kills yes from kills because that movie was just for me was just way worse i enjoyed this movie enough i went in with no expectations because i kept hearing bad things about it so i enjoyed it generally but the more and more time that i had to think about it it was just like no this movie was just like not that great it just wasn't good uh the villain just generally um hoary it's like no it's so it's a movie that it tried i didn't absolutely hate it like bad that would have been kill uh kills for me so this one i'm gonna say it tried but it really should be at bad it wasn't as bad for me we were like stephanie you're a fool i know i'm a full deal with your viewer let's move on to black adam um unfortunately i didn't review this because laziness you guys side note i don't know like I just I'm I'm really I don't want to quit my channel because I love my channel but I'm just I'm not as motivated as I once was you know and I'm just like I really don't want to keep going and then just end up hating my channel ultimately because that would make me so so sad so I don't know I'm, I'm thinking about maybe also taking another break at the beginning of the year besides at the beginning of the year like not too too much stuff is happening I just generally you guys I just want to play board games and I just want to watch TV, like just watch it, like shut my brain off. And I just want to watch like Dancing with the Stars and The Voice. And like I, I want to catch up on Grey's Anatomy. And like there's just so many things that I haven't been watching since starting my channel because I'm not reviewing it. And I was going to be um, doing my uh, wrap ups on La Reina del Sur, which is the Queen of the South with the Spanish version, which I did do for season two. But again, it, 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 the show started while I was in, uh, in Mexico and then I was still doing my Halloween series and then now we're like three weeks in and I still haven't done my reviews. Okay, that's kind of like my little rant update deal that's going on but we'll, we'll see what happens at the end of the year all right so you know back over here to black adam y'all i've been like all over the place right now if i could finish this okay this is a character i've never known about before because i've never seen him in any of the other movies um if you guys are new i do love me dc i do love me some marvel and once it comes to the knowledge of comic book characters it just comes from the movies that is the knowledge that i have it falls within like the same world of like shazam kind of deal it's a little bit darker that's what i love about dc i do prefer dc over marvel just because of the darkness just because of the gruesomeness and the killing and everything and they're all all like goody two shoes and stuff and um I, I i love that part i will admit marvel does put out better movies they're just too goody to shoot for me so i like it over here in the darkness of it all ah. he doesn't claim to be a hero he doesn't want to be a hero he wants to like just like be throwing people all over the place and like killing them we have the justice society again never heard of them so i really don't even know their names I, I don't remember their names to be honest with you they weren't really all that great for me i, I didn't really care for them too much i mean pierce Bronson, i liked him like if we've never seen the justice society again i wouldn't be like that would be the worst thing for me. I've, I've talked so much. Let's just put it over here. I thought Black Adam was a really good movie. I really, really liked it. These are the five movies that I watched in the month of October. This is how I rank them. I'm trying to like debate whether I want to change it up. But no, that's looking pretty good for me. Like, do I want to put Halloween? I feel like 
just to please you guys i should put you know what let me put it under bad halloween ends is that better don't forget to give this video a like if you haven't yet hit the notification bell subscribe if you haven't share comment all that other good stuff that is it for me today until next time i'll see you guys in positions bye